You know, I mean, we're not a boys club or a social club. We're just a group of husbands collectively waiting for our wives um, in the Target parking lot. I used to get so bored. Hours and hours of waiting in the car. I thought it'd be a good idea one time to go in with the wife. Thought I could maybe scout out some camping gear or something like that. Just ended up holding their purse. Eventually, I just started returning the carts just to stay busy, get a little exercise. And then the target management noticed and they offered me a job. They said I could work whenever my wife was shopping. Last week, I clocked 12 hours. Between 2015 and 2018, I actually completed my doctorate online while waiting for my wife. Then one day, everything changed. I'm sitting in the car, it's been 63 minutes, I'm furious, and then there's this knock on the window. Hey, got some new jerky. You want, you want to try some? Charlie's beef jerky, yeah. That was honestly the start of our friendship. You know, it didn't happen all at once. Honestly, I don't remember how it started. Penn came along and then this Miles guy started parking closer to us and then eventually, like, the group was just formed. What do we do here? Well, uh, we toss the ball around, we play some cards, you know, a little gambling. Uh, we have supper if it gets late enough. When Miles brought his grill, <laughs> it changed everything. So, got your standard grill set up that everyone has. We got the coffee over here. We got the beans about to go there. Brats on the grill. It's lunchtime. One summer, we did a series of car washes, and we actually raised enough money to put a big screen in the back of Penn's van. TV, 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 TV. That was a good summer. For a while, the kids were real damper on the group, you know, but then we got a two-car system going where each guy takes a 15-minute shift watching the kids while the others just get to chill, hang out. Eventually, we decided just to put a security camera in the daycare van so we can keep an eye on the kids, but also keep a full poker table. Oh, God! This will pay for my uh, wife's target run. Hey, somebody got eyes on the kids? Oh, they're fine. You know, honestly, I think this has saved my marriage. My wife and I used to constantly fight about how much time she was spending at Target. But now, thanks to the group, my marriage is stronger than ever. I clip coupons for her now, so we can head to Target and I can hang out with the guys and she can do her thing, uh, whatever she does in there. Taylor, oh. we gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, come on, babe, five more minutes? No, we gotta go right just now. Five just, just five. Five more minutes. You guys have been in here all day. Oh. Hey, you see the sale on the um, curtain? They're really, they're really nice. They're yep. real cute. Saw it. Gotta go. I know it sounds crazy, but I look forward to those throw pillows going on sale now. Get to see my boys. Hi, we're coming tomorrow? Yeah, they got a sale tomorrow. You'll be here. You got a sale tomorrow? Okay, all right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, all right, see sounds you good. Tomorrow. And I just hope it doesn't end with us. I would love to see target husband groups just formed all over the world. There's no reason for any husband to have to endure a red tag sale alone. If you see another guy waiting for his wife, you know, just offer him some beef jerky. Let him know you're down to hang. Your best friend may be just two cars away. I mean, we have so much in common. We all have wives, and they're all in there somewhere. My name is Miles. My name is Pitt. My name is Charlie. My name is Taylor, and I am a target husband. And I'm a target husband. And I am a target husband. And I'm a target husband. <laughs> Keep her moving. Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah. Right.